Yo guys, it's JJ here. And today I'm going to be taking you through a very, very long awaited video of mine. And I know it's been highly anticipated from the request. I'm going to be taking you through a heroes and villains tutorial. Metro is dropping next week as of recording today. And I'm really, really excited for it. So let me just get into this tutorial for you guys. First of all, as you can see, I've got myself a nice little plugin, Nexus, and I'm using a preset called Saturn Rings from the Epic Pads Bank. First thing you need to know, I turned off the delay and reverb because I wanted to control that myself. And now onto the pattern, as you can see, very simple and very repetitive, but let me take you through it. First of all, as you can see, it's literally just a one bar thing that repeats and literally almost every note is within that kind of tension part of the scale, which is when notes are just one semitone apart. And as well as that, I've kept notes two semitones apart, which also provides a bit of tension. And then in this instance, it just sounded good. And then all I had to really do was just copy and paste it over and over. And then we have the full pattern. So without further ado, this is what the melody sounds like. And there you have it. As for the mixing, the first thing I did was got myself an instance of gross beat. And all I did was I went onto the volume section, clicked one beat gate. So you have this little pattern here, but then I took it down to 50%. So, so from what you guys heard, it's a very, very staggered effect. On top of that, I added the parametric EQ, cutting off a lot of the highs and lows. I added some RC20, mainly for the distortion and a bit of wobble to add a bit of vintage flair. And on top of that, I just added some reverb, just, you know, ambience. Then last but not least, I stereo separated this by like 20%, just to widen the sound a bit. Next thing I did was get a preset from Omnisphere. And of course, it's my favorite synth bass preset. And that's the growl and move bass, as you guys can see. Okay, so for the bass pattern, you may be thinking this is not what the root notes look like. However, what Metro does like to do is when he has a repeating melody, such as the one I've shown you before, he'll come up with his own bass sign to add a nice dark undertone, and it really, really does a lot of good work. I'd highly recommend you do that in your own craft as well, especially if you're going for that Metro vibe where you have a melody, but the bass sign doesn't match the root notes. And as you guys can see from here, all I did was start on the root note of the scale, D sharp minor, play it, then take it down to the G sharp and A because these notes are in tension and it sounds really, really good together. Then I repeated it again, but I wanted some variation. So all I did was play C sharp again and bounce back between these notes in tension and then also have this little extra one on top. But like it's only two notes apart, it really, really does a good job. It really, really helps with the whole tension aspect, the whole dark atmosphere of Metro Boomin. So that's why I did this for the bass line. And this is what it sounds like. And there you have it. And as you can hear, the bass line suits it super well, creates a dark atmosphere that we need. And it really, really just adds to the whole Metro vibe. Now, the next component of the melody that I've got here is a preset from expand 2 and it's called the xmas support and this is a bell preset as you can see as for the pattern i've played a really really simple pattern and all i did was i first started off with the g sharp took it down to a c sharp replayed it at the c sharp then i literally have to repeat every bar however when i copy and pasted the over i was like you know what let me just remove this note you know a bit of variation but not because i'm adding just because i'm actually removing and that's something that's really important to know when you make these kind of melodies Sometimes the best thing to do is instead of adding an extra note for variation, it might be to take it out. So that's what I did. And that's how we have now this nice little repeating two bar. And then last but not least, all I did was click Alt R to randomize the velocity. So it sounds more human. And with that said, this is what the melody sounds like. And there you have it. Sounds super dope, really complements it well. And bells are always a little nice thing you can have in these dark beats, so had to throw it in. For the bell, we've got ourselves a very, very basic EQ going here. Cut off all the lows, left a few of the highs, cut a frequency I wasn't a fan of. On top of that, I added a fair amount of reverb just to widen the sound, add a bit more ambience as well, which kind of dampens it out. And then I stereo separated the bell to 80%. But now, last but not least, for the melodic component, we've got ourselves another preset from Omnisphere and it's called the Enchanted Flute. Honestly, I just found the sound randomly in a far time super dope, so that's why I used it. As for the pattern, you guys can see it repeats literally every tuba. And all I did was start off a bit late on a C sharp, took it up to a G sharp, which is one of those notes in tension, and then took it down from that to an E to D sharp, and then just repeat it over and over for the full eight bar. So as you guys can see, 
I essentially just used the root note of the scale and then used the notes that were part of the whole tension part of the scale, which is when notes are one note apart. And in doing so, that's what helps create the tension. So repeat those notes that you've used before, leave some space throughout the melody and repetition is key because it gives a very nice and a very fire balance for whatever artist will come over this metro tutorial, for whatever artist I'll come over this fire, fire beat. So without further ado, this is what the full melody sounds like. And as you guys can hear, I really enjoyed this melody when I made it. And the thing I really, really like is how the bell and the flute kind of complement each other. They kind of blend into one sound. And I've really, really messed with that. Now, for the flute mix, all I did again was whack an EQ, quite similar to the one that we had for the bell. And a fair amount of reverb as well, as you guys can see. And then for the mix, I just stereo separated this like 50%, nothing too crazy. Now, we of course are onto the drum section of the whole video. So, first of all, as you can see, we've got ourselves a very, very basic clap pattern. Not much explanation needed. But this is what it sounds like. I don't think you guys want to hear the full 8 bars, so let's move on to the next section. And that is the kick. So, as you can see, we've got ourselves a lovely kick pattern. It's essentially the very basic rhythm one that everyone knows and loves. However, I did vary it a bit at the end here in the second part of the 4 bar. Added an extra kick and a nice little transitional one. And all I did was just repeat this whole 4 bar over to complete a full 8 bar. And one more piece of advice, and I repeat this in every video. Click Control A to highlight all your notes. And use that scroller wheel to max the velocities out. Because that stuff gets your kick and your 808s punching through the mix differently. So, with that being said, this is what the pattern sounds like now. And there you have it. Now, next up, we got ourselves a hi-hat pattern. And as you can see, it's a very, very simple hi-hat pattern. Nothing crazy, but I've got myself a few rolls here from one to another and these rolls were made using the magnet tool on half step as you can see and all i did was just copy and paste this over to create a full eight bar so this is what the drums sound like now And there you have it. Next up, we have, of course, the 808 pattern because you can't forget a heavy 808 in these beats. We are, of course, using the official spins 808. And one thing I definitely did was max the 808s, of course, because you want that to be hitting through your mix different. That's the whole point of hip hop. We want loud 808s. And that's what we're here for. And as you can see quickly by the pattern, it's essentially just the bass line. However, we use the kick drum pattern over it. So that's why it looks like this. But with all that being said, this is what the new pattern sounds like. And that is sounding fire. And then on top of that, all I did was add an open hat where it repeats every two bar as seen. And now for the final component of the drum pattern, we've got ourselves a lovely open hat because you need a bit of extra bounce. And all I did was just create this pattern, which is a two bar loop and repeat it until the end of the eight bar. So without further ado, this is what a full drum pattern sounds like together. And there you have it folks, a Heroes and Villains tutorial for Metro Booming's album coming out 2nd of December. I'm super hyped for it. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe all down below. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And with all that being said, take it easy. Peace.